The Google Pixel 9 Pro is here, and it's packed with serious tech. Is this the best compact flagship of the year, or does it fall behind the iPhone and Samsung? Let's find out. Design and build. First off, this thing feels premium. With Gorilla Glass Victus 2 and an aluminum frame, it's both sturdy and sleek. And that camera island on the back? It sticks out, but it's where the pixel magic happens. You've got a 50 megapixel main camera, a 48 megapixel ultra wide, and a 48 megapixel five times optical zoom lens. So yeah, it's a powerhouse. Compared to the iPhone or Samsung, the Pixel 9 Pro stands out with its unique design, but Google has refined it to look cleaner and more elegant. Display. The display is a stunning 6.3 inch LTPO OLED with 120 Hertz refresh and a blazing 3000 nits peak brightness. Whether you're in direct sunlight or low light conditions, this screen is sharp and vibrant. It competes directly with the iPhone 16 Pro and Samsung S24 Ultra, no doubt about it. Performance and software. Powered by the Tensor G4 chip and 16 gigabytes of RAM, this phone is smooth and super fast. While Apple's A18 and Samsung's Snapdragon are powerful, Google's strength is in its AI features and how smoothly Android 14 runs. Plus, you get up to seven years of updates, keeping the phone future-proof. Cameras, next level. The 50 megapixel main sensor and 48 megapixel periscope telephoto with five times zoom produce some of the best photos out there. Google's computational photography blows the competition out of the water, especially in low light and tricky conditions. Selfies, the 42 megapixel front camera is an upgrade that makes a difference. Battery and charging. Battery life is solid with a 4,700 milliamp hour battery that easily lasts all day. Charging is decent at 27 watts, but not the fastest compared to Samsung's 45 watts. Wireless charging is supported at 21 watts and you get reverse charging too. Is the Google Pixel 9 Pro the best flagship of the year? With its brilliant camera system, smooth Android experience and premium build, it's definitely a top contender. Would you pick this over an iPhone or Samsung? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more tech breakdowns. See you in the next one.